Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy and to another episode of Hello Dave. It's Monday again so it's time to have a look at what's been going on in the last week. In Elite of course the most notable thing is of course the focus feedback that's been going on over on the official forums. Now I'm not going to go over the whole thing and go into too much detail with it. There's already plenty of video material out there and I would actually encourage you to, to I'll put the link for the focus feedback in the description to so go over there and read it for yourself and um, and read some of the, the, the threats that people have over there. There's some, some very, very interesting stuff going on over there. Um, and also to give you um, an opportunity to have a say in where the game is going in the future. So I'll make sure there's a link for, for the focus feedback forum in the description. However, there is a few points that I want to talk about. Now, th this round of focus feedback mainly focused on the social aspect of it, not as much the uh, fleet carriers, which is going to come later on. But um, there's a few things I want to mention here. And that is some of the feedback that Frontier has given to some of, well, replies that they've given to some of the feedback. One of them being name sniping. Um, I think that's one of the main concerns for at least many of the established communities. Um, and what name sniping is, is let's say when this launches, someone would log in right on day one, right after the, the servers go live, and they would immediately create a squadron. Um, let's say they call it down to earth astronomy or they take the tag D2EA, something like that. Um, and of course, this would be something people would do just because they know someone else wanted. And there could be that maybe they're going to take uh, and make a squadron called Fuel Rats, um, just because they know that the Fuel Rats would probably want to have uh, a squadron called that. Just to, um, just to troll people, I guess, and to be an asshole, I guess. But point is, Frontier has now uh, acknowledged that this could potentially be a problem, so they're going to make some kind of um, reservation where you can go in and reserve names beforehand for already established communities. How exactly that is going to work, um, I'm not 100% sure on how they're going to prevent people from name sniping the reservation. Um, we will have to wait and see. Um, but at least it is something that they're looking into and I would expect that there might be some kind of manual evaluation of it. So if someone goes in and make a, uh, make a squadron of this, two people competing over the same name in the reservation, maybe they would go in and make a, a manual decision on um, on on who will get that specific tag or specific name. Um, I don't know how it's going to work, but I would expect that would be some kind of a, a way to do it because, to be honest, the amount of conflict that's going to be where two people who try to reserve the same name is going to be minimal, I guess. So the amount of manual labor involved in that would probably not be that much. Then there's been the discussion around member counts. I think originally it was suggested that would be a hard cap on the member limits uh, for 250 members, which... For most people, of course, is, is just fine. But for some of the larger communities, I could see that becoming an issue. Um, especially if we just look at the amount of players in the private group that, uh, that I'm using for, for the community around this channel. Um, if the same people wanted to be part of the squadron as well, then we're really, really quickly going to run out of, of room. And, and what do you do then? So I hope that they're going to raise the limit. Um, I, I can't really see the argument for why you wanted a member limit. I, I, I guess what they are afraid of is there would just be like a very few massive, massive squadrons where everybody just goes in there. But since there's no real, um, you don't get any benefits like discounts or anything on modules for being part of a squadron, I, 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 don't, I don't see that being too much of an issue. But at least that is something that's being discussed over there. Um, and then there was a lot of people who suggested something that I actually didn't see coming, um, that they wanted to join multiple squadrons. So they wanted it, instead of being like a clan guild kind of thing that we would be, know from other games, um, that they wanted to try and have the ability to join multiple so it would be more, more like it would be communities. Um, I don't think that's going to be a thing, and, and I can I can understand why, but then it, it's basically two different things people are asking for. I mean, some want a way to organize an already existing communities, and some um, some want, uh, like, um, more, like, it, it's more like just being part of, like, our, it's, it's more loose if you if you can join multiple ones, because you know, if you can only join one, then you would know people are, well, slightly more dedicated to that community if you decide to join that squadron. Um, 
But all that is of course being discussed over on the feedback forum. You can go over there and you can give your uh, your own opinion. And you're of course also more than welcome to put it in the comment section below if you want to discuss it down there. Um, but if you want Frontier to read it, it needs to go on the forums. Then there's been talk about squadron missions, which I believe they have said is not going to be a thing. Um, which on the surface might seem a little weird, but when you think about it, it makes sense if they're going to be pushing wing missions, which is essentially going to be the same thing. And we're going to come back to that in a little bit. Wow. So, sorry for the noise in the background. The, the rapids are very active. I'm recording this a little bit later than usual. And rapids become very, very active um, in the evening. Anyway, we already have wing missions and it makes sense, I think, to, to just keep using those and expand upon that. Um, but I'll come back to, to that whole thing later when we're going to talk about instancing. This is going to be a completely separate topic here. Um, then there's the fleet carrier, of course. Not a lot have been said. They're going to do a separate focus feedback on the whole fleet carrier part of it. Um, but it seems like you're going to be limited to have one fleet carrier per system. They're going to be upgradable. Um, and... It, and it seems they can be, they can jump at least. That's been given out. So that's been confirmed at least that you can move them around from system to system. Jump range or how that's going to work exactly, that will have to wait until the next um, round of focus feedback. Or next, when we have the jump carrier or the fleet carrier focus feedback. Um, but it seems like they're going to be some kind of material pay. So you can't just jump and then jump and jump and jump again. You, you, I guess there would be something you could do once a day is my guess. Maybe when the server ticks, like do the BGS tick anyway, maybe the update, uh, they will also update the, the position of the um, of the fleet carriers. Maybe it's only going to be once a week uh, on the uh, on the server maintenance window. Um, again, we'll see what they're coming up with. Um, but at least it seems like there's going to require some kind of materials to, to collect in order to I mean, basically, they're going to be using fuel. So we have to collect some materials in order to do the jumps. Um, but that is, of course, all to come later on. Now, I said I would want to talk about instancing. And one of the main that been a massive, massive concern, uh, for me at least, is the fact, and I've mentioned this before, that the instancing software used in Elite Dangerous is programmed with a shovel. It is Mickey Mouse code. It's not very good, to say the least. Um, I have in trying to get like just a few a number of people to have the game work like probably simultaneously can be a huge huge pain and if you don't know what i'm talking about i just want to show you a few clips from last weekend like just the past weekend where we were three guys trying to multi-crew up and uh, go out and hunt some thargoids so um, enjoy this little clip i can see it just about the debris yeah i'm in now Watch till another one's left through the debris. Bum. What the hell? <laughs> it's fireworks, yay! Okay, let's go. Good damage. Hey, it. he's angry now. Hey, at least Swarm is a little smaller now. Yeah, the UI is... Uh, yeah, it's me. flickering on my one as so well. I, I can't take a fighter. Oh, I can't oh, either. What's going? What is it? What's it's happened? It's just going blue. The Swarm what just fucking it? exploded. Okay, it seems to be something is not right here. <laughs> yeah, the UI is completely jacked. What are you shooting at, by the way? The Thargoid, can you not see him? No. Now he's just boosting away. On, on my one, I think I see it, but it's... And he's not on my direct radar either. Wow, this is... Immersion! Amazing. Immersion, <laughs> this is fucking broken. <laughs> Can I... Oh, now I have control of the UI, but I can't... No, now I lost it again. Everything is just... Every time I click, yeah, click anything, it's click anything, it's just not responding. I'll disband the crew and open another one. Yeah. Two in second tell that it's not as basilisk. Hey... Oh, no, wait. Okay. The UI is flickering again on mine. Wait, are and you I in the ship? Yeah. Which chair are you in? Right side or left side? Left side. Okay, because that chair is empty on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> he is in the wing tab on top, though. Right? Yeah, but on my one, everyone sort of yes. um, got red. Yes, yes. But uh, I guess he just will. But 
the avatar has, or the holomy has not loaded. Well, oh, I can see. At least Frontier said that they don't want to upgrade the instancing software because it's just fine, right? It's just <laughs> fine. It is oh, just thought... works as intended. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same thing when they said about that on the petty squadron um, amongst... thing. Like, no, instancing. It's fine. Oh, now everyone's just disappeared. Oh, yeah, great. well, you turned red so... for me. Oh, there we go. Session is disconnected. <laughs> now you got to kill. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa. I have stars. Yeah, I can see the Tharkoid this time. That's an improvement. Can you see the ship? Yeah, our ship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's alright then. At some point, I wasn't even seeing the ship. At the moment, I don't see anything, just stars. So both, so you can't see anything. Astro is fine. Oh, it just rubber banded back. <laughs> okay. Wave not, off. Not, not on my screen. We're still right next to the Targoid, but he's just sitting still. What happens if I do this? Oh, what the hell happened there? <laughs> Christ, that made me jump. Oh, okay. It suddenly just. Yeah, you, you went down. straight through him. <laughs> We're flying straight through the Targoid. He's like not even there. Oh. I was like, I sort of leaning forward, and all of a sudden, the hypercruise thing dropped out, and then everything just spun round violently, as if my character. Oh, here we go. Spin. We have the flickering again, and I can't select the fighter either. Oh, oh, that's oh there we go. No. Nope. So the Thargoid swarm is in one position. Yeah, oh, that was a good shot. On my head. Right, I'm gonna try on. My own ship, see if I can click on stuff. Yeah, so I can click stuff just fine on my own ship. My own. Yeah, this is multi crew. Multi crew is just like. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> the most half baked feature there is in Elite. Okay, so I can see the Tharkoid, but he's seven and a half kilometers away. Oh. Well, he's right in front of me. <laughs> well, that makes Did you this just difficult. see that biomechanical conduit pop up? Uh, weapons parts? Yeah. Missile. Where's the caustic missile coming from for you? Yeah, I, I, I can see the spawning out in the middle of the... Oh, I... oh you're just that one hit me and I'm dead. dead. So, the Thargoid model is still rendered behind me, so I can't really see where the Thargoid is right now. <laughs> can you shoot at the one that's stationary then? I'll try to launch a fighter and fly over there and shoot it. My guess is it's just the model that's there and the actual mm. Thargoid is, is actually somewhere else. Yeah, the things just become moved. detached from each other somehow. And I mean, it's not even, I don't think it's even that demanding. I no, mean, apparently, exactly. the Thargoid Swarm is only a single ship they have to render, according to like mm -hmm. when they did the, the, the thing. So the I can only hit... thing that's. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, oh, he's aggroed at you now. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I took him back. So I can uh, I can hit the uh, the model over here, and I get the like you hit him indicator. I think he's yeah he's onto you though. Yeah, but Shot. I can't see him. So, good luck. <laughs> 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 Yay, version. <laughs> I could hit him, but he didn't take any damage. So as you can clearly see here. Um... It wasn't working, well, it, the game was actually unplayable. Uh, menus wasn't working, ships became invisible, yet they could still shoot and kill you. Um, basically, it was... Wow, rabbits. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, instancing is, is really, um, <laughs> it's really a pain in the game right now. And so far, it seems they're set, it's working just fine, and they're not going to do anything with it. Now, there's been... There's a thread as well, and I really, really recommend that you go down and read this because there's not been that much posted in it yet, but I really, really hope that, that we can get some traction this this thread. I'm also going to post a link to that in the description. There's a thread where this specific topic is being discussed, whether they should actually do something with instancing as well. And I've posted a list over there of some of the issues I have seen that I hope will be addressed. Um, and someone posted a rather interesting comment saying, well, they have just said that they are not going to... Um, they're not going to change the way the wing thing works. Uh, I, I, I haven't, so I'm not really sure exactly what what has been said and what hasn't been said. And and I mean, it's such huge amount of of uh, forms uh, pages over there to go through. But basically, I really really hope they're going to address it. And I think the reason why they I mean, 
in the past, Frontier has claimed that instancing works just fine, there's no issues with it. Um, basically saying that people who have these issues are lying. But let's, let's not talk about that right now. I think the problem is when they're testing it, they are all sitting on the same local network within the same building often. And then they're testing the instancing there. And, and then, of course, because Elite uses P2P connections, so you don't connect to a central server. When you go into an instance, you connect directly to everybody else. Of course, means that the number of connections open um, increases exponentially, which is why the more people you have, the more buggy it becomes and the less playable the whole game becomes. Um, so I think, of course, if, if you then had everybody like um, all clumped together within the same um, within the same local network, of course, the connectivity will be a lot better. You will have uh, have fewer drop packages, and you are more likely to be able to keep a stable connection. In which case, the P2P is a great solution. But for a large-scale worldwide solution like this, um, it's not really working. To be honest, they really need to go server side. But I know it's a huge investment, not only in reprogramming that core part of the game but also in servers, and it's an investment that I'm afraid I'm, I can't see Frontier making uh, into Elite at this point, because it's going to be expensive, it's going to be very, very expensive. Um, so I'm afraid we're going to be stuck with the current uh, format of instancing, but I really hope they would address the software and give it an overhaul, because it is, for me, the number one problem with Elite. It, is, it doesn't play well as a multiplayer game, which would benefit the game so much, so I'm really happy to see that they're moving in that direction, but then again, it's gonna be, um, yeah, we got to see them moving in that direction, but they need to have the infrastructure in place in order for this to work properly. Um, but again, there's a form thread on the day, on the focus feedback, and I would highly recommend you go over and have a look at that, and and just tell your own stories. What have you experienced with with um, <laughs> with stuff like this? Talking about instancing issues. On Tuesday, we're going to have another small ship combat stream, something I've been doing a lot of in the past that is now uh, going to try to return, uh, take that, uh, that format back. So what it is basically is, I, uh, we're going to have a stream. Everybody who wants to join is more than welcome. This time, we're going to take out Diamondback Scouts. So what you need to do is you need to, um, to get yourself a Diamondback Scout, fit it out for PvE. Um, any fit will do as long as you have some weapons. And then we're going to meet up in a specific system. It's all on Discord. We're going to coordinate it from Discord. So I'm not going to go into too much detail now. If you want to join, link for Discord in the description. Go over there, have a look at the news channel, scroll up a bit, and you'll see the post about it. Um, where the systems and times and stuff like that. But basically Tuesday, um, at the usual uh, spot, there's going to be that uh, the stream. And we're going to take all the diamondbacks out and we're going to go into a... Uh, uh, some hashware sites and we're gonna try and have a uh, have a bit of fun trying to kill some um, some NPCs in uh, in Diamondback Scouts. It's usually a ton of fun and uh, ships are dying left and right both from our side and uh, <laughs> and the NPCs. But again, a lot of a lot of people in the same um, in the same instance. So uh, if you want to have some fun and have a laugh at a lot of people just being completely destroyed by instancing issues, that's also a good uh, good reason to come by the stream. And the final thing I need to uh, to mention is this: we of course got our own faction, which we've, we've been uh, been working on um, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, play a minor faction in game, of course. Um, we've applied a tactic that so far has been a little less fruitful than we have hoped. So we're going to change things up a bit over the next coming weeks in in terms of, of BGS tactics. Um, but in general, if you uh, if you want to participate, you're more than welcome. However, I would uh, appreciate a lot if you, again, Discord, where we are coordinating everything on Discord, there is a channel called Faction News. In there, there will be posted daily updates, uh, daily orders, so that you know what you need to do in order to um, to help the faction. Because it's not as simple as just go for the go to the faction, go to find Terra X and just run missions for it. That's not always what's helping us. That can actually in some situations be counterproductive to what we're trying to achieve. So if, if people want to join, I would really rec uh, recommend or really um, encourage you to go and have a look at that faction news because that's where all the activities are going to be posted. Also, if we're going to do group activities, they will probably also be posted somewhere in that vicinity. But that's going to be a hello day for today. Um, rather long one today, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, remember to give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.